this is Asha from the Adobe Cold Fusion team. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, Apache virtual host uh, connector configuration. Uh, if you want to learn about basic Apache connector configuration, uh, please check out my old video uh, on the Cold Fusion YouTube channel. So to begin with, first uh, I'll show you the virtual hosts I've configured with Apache. So in my httpd-vhost.com file, I have uh, two virtual hosts configured. That is dummy-host and test-host. So now let's go and configure uh, the CFusion, which is the default server in ColdFusion 10 with these two virtual hosts. So let me go to my magic tool, uh, wsconfig. Let me run my wsconfig tool which is present in uh, Cold Fusion 10 C Fusion runtime bin. And uh, let me configure my web server that is Apache. Let me choose the conf folder for Apache. Say okay, yes. So while the WS config tool configures Apache, let's go to the default location where ColdFusion places its connector configuration files. That is ColdFusion 10 config WS config 1. So this is where uh, ColdFusion has placed all the connector configuration files. So let's go to Apache and see what it has done on Apache's end. So ColdFusion has placed this file mod underscore jk.conf. So this configuration file tells Apache where it can find the mod underscore jk.so and the other properties files which are connector uh, related. So to conf now coming to the main point that is uh, configuring virtual host. So all we have to do to configure virtual host is copy this line that is URI worker map dot properties line to each of the virtual host block. So let me copy it to my dummy hyphen host as well as test hyphen host. So we are all set. Let me restart my Apache. All right. So in both of my document rules, that is dummy hyphen host and test hyphen host, I have placed an index.cfm. So let's go run that and see what happens. So I've run, <coughs> so I've run the dummy hyphen host. So we can see that the index.cfm which is placed in the document root of dummy hyphen host is run and we can see hello from dummy host. So that means that the dummy hyphen host virtual host has been configured to CFusion server. Now let me run my other virtual host which is test hyphen host. So you can see that uh, it says hello from test host. So both these virtual hosts have been configured to ColdFusion server, that is CFusion. Now that we are done with the basic uh, virtual host configuration, I would like to show the next thing which many people have asked me, that is uh, how do we configure two ColdFusion servers, that is through Instance Manager, you have created another server, that is you go to Administrator, Instance Manager, And in Instance Manager, you have created another server. So like here, I've created a server called Server1. 
So now let's say I want to create a, a configure a C Fusion to one virtual host and serve one to an another virtual host. Uh, let's see how we do that. For that I need to go to my WS config folder that is cold fusion 10 config WS config 1 and open my workers dot properties see that uh, C fusion server has already been configured to Apache and uh, we this workers dot properties mainly tells us that uh, it needs to talk on port 8012 using the protocol AJP 13 so to configure another server that is server 1 uh, to apache all we need to do is copy this block paste it here and we need to change the port and the server name so let's go to our server.xml where all this configuration information is present so we are adding server 1 so we need to go to the server.xml of server 1 that is runtime conf server.xml and we see that for port uh, protocol AJP 1.3 the port is 8013 so we need this information here so we change the port to 8013 and we see that the JVM root value is server 1. So we change C fusion to server 1. And also in the worker list, we need to add server 1 because we need both these workers, C fusion and server 1. So now that we are done with workers.properties, we need to do one more thing that is URA worker map.properties. So URI worker map dot properties uh, mainly tells us that based on these mappings, it needs to forward the request to this worker. So all these mappings which are present here are forwarded to C Fusion worker. So now since we want to configure that for server one, we need a copy of this URI worker map dot properties. Let's name that URI worker map two dot properties and we need to tell apache that uh, it needs to forward all these mappings to server one for that we need to replace uh, c fusion with server one right so now that we have two work URA worker map dot properties one URA worker map dot properties mainly tells that all these mappings need to be forwarded to C fusion and URA worker map two dot properties tells that all these mappings need to be forwarded to worker server one and my workers dot properties tells me that if it receives a message on uh, 8013 port and AJP 13 protocol it needs to forward that to worker server 1 after we have done this all we need to do is go to my vhost file and change let's say I want C Fusion to C Fusion server requests to go to dummy hyphen host and server 1 requests to test hyphen host virtual host so since we have all the mappings of uh, server 1 in URA worker map 2 dot properties, let me change the worker map dot properties to test hyphen host and save this file. So, in order to show that uh, uh, requests are going to C Fusion or server 1, uh, I would like to copy the CFI um, add a, a virtual ho virtual directory for CFID. For that, I go to my mod underscore jk dot conf and copy copy this. So I need to add an alias to C 
CFID. Let me do that for both my virtual hosts. So we are done with the configuration. So let's restart Apache. So now that I've added a virtual directory for CFID, I can access the administrator from test-host. Now that we have configured server one to test-host, we should be going to server one's administrator. So yeah, we have gone to server one's administrator. And if I try dummy host, it should go to C Fusion Server. So yeah, it has gone to C Fusion Server. So that's how we configure two different uh, Cold Fusion servers to two, two virtual hosts of Apache. So that's all I have for now. Uh, thank you.